Hello everyone! I want to thank Pastor Wes and Adriana Richards for the privilege to speak to so many beautiful ladies in the UK, South Africa, and other parts of the world. My name is Sharon Castaneda. I live in Bogota, Colombia. English is my second language, so if you don't understand, uh, I know the Holy Spirit is going to reveal to your heart, okay? <laughs> okay, I'm the youngest uh, daughter of Pastor Castan Pastors Castaneda, um, part of the team of 12 young people of Pastor Sarah and Laugera. But also, I'm studying communication, fashion marketing, and I have a degree in wedding and event planning. But I know each one of us is very special to God. That's why I want you to open your Bible in Psalms 139, verse 13 and 14. That it says, For you create my most being. You need me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. I know that before you and I were born, God had this incredible and amazing plan for our life. Amen. If we continue reading, it says, Your eyes saw my informed body. All the days ordained for me were writing in your book before one of them came to be. Amen. Today, for some minutes, I want to, to share, I would like to give this practical plan for your life that is going to make us and help us to grow in the wholeness that God has for your life that will also affect our bodies but our hearts too so I'm calling this the seven day challenge yes maybe you would like to 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 have some notes there because each day it's gonna be really really important so let's just start this the first day detox monday yes detox monday the term detox it refers uh, to clean our body is the process that eliminates those toxic or unhealthy substances in our body the detox cleans our body through this healthy and balanced diet so we need to make this plan part of our lifestyle so the first challenge of today is that each week for a more healthy body is that i encourage you to make this nutritional plan for each day you can include with smoothies or the famous tea so the next one is timeless skin tuesday this skin is one of the most important organs in the body besides being of the most extensive part of the body this organ is one of the one of the parts that is constantly in contact with the outside world that's why we have to take care of it how wonderful is to have a skin that is really healthy beautiful elastic and smooth so that's why the challenge of today is that first you have your sunscreen you can uh put sunscreen daily i know maybe you hear this from a lot of people but it's really important let me tell you that the second thing is that you can clean your face as a daily routine and the third one is that it will be really important that you organize a dermatologist dermatologist checkup because the terminal the, 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 i'm sorry the terminal the terminal the doctor, I'm sorry, <laughs> sometimes they were confused, but the dermatologist is the doctor that is going to guide you to choose those perfect creams for your specific 
type of skin. So the next one is Thirsty Wednesday. Yes, water is so and so fundamental for our bodies, for our existences, that even in the Bibles compared it to the war of God, how amazing it is to drink water because drinking water has so many benefits that eliminates toxins, prevents headaches, the digestions, and other benefits is that our skin, our hair, our body, it's gotta be amazing. So the challenge three is that simple, you can replace replace those, those drinks that are really caloric like soda or those drinks that has a lot of sugar and we can replace it with water. Water in the morning, water in the evening, water in the night as well the water of the world that it's really important so they say that our eight glasses a day are the best okay the next one is workout thursday yes often we make excuses and we say oh, i don't have time for this i don't have time to work out I have other things to do. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna do this. But what we really mean is that it's a way down on my list of priorities to make workout or exercise. But however, it's very important to, for, I mean, to all the people to do exercise. So it doesn't matter your age or your physical abilities the exercise and to be active, it's a beneficial thing for our body and our mind. It can reduce high, uh, high blood pressure, help to control the weight, reduce the risk of a heart disease and other things. So the challenge for is that you establish a 30 minute routine, routine at least five days a week. You can do something that you like. You can run, you can dance. Here in, in Colombia, we like to dance. So if you like to dance, that's good. But you can run, you can do something that, that you really like. So it's really important that you uh, can be active, okay? The next day, ready for this one? This one, I feel it's my favorite one, okay? Fashion Friday. Fashion Friday, yes. Remember that fashion trend is one thing and other one is your taste in your clothes. So try to decide what fashion suits you better. Don't try to be something that you're not. Be yourself. It's what will make you more beautiful and authentic and that daughter of God. So Put together this and search those codes that suits you better and you, that you feel comfortable with. So the challenge five is that remember that our five body types, okay? If you didn't know that, today you knew something, okay? There is five types of body, uh, five body types of a woman so it's important that you identify yours and discover the clothes that suits you better according to this body type, but at the same time, your age, your weight, your height, and of course, your personality. That's really important. The next one is Dreams Saturday. Oh, I love this one because we see that in the 40s, a young evangelist named Billy Graham had this radical dream of a packet or a packed stadium where people could hear the gospel proclaimed. And in his ministry, more than two million, two hundred of million people hear Billy Graham preach in life. So we can say that the Dr. Uh, Billy Graham 
He was this amazing man because he vision and he dreamed that and he looked the future and God blessed him. So the challenge is that you can make your dream notebook, okay? To help you visualize your dreams. Look, my mom, she's not just a pastor. She's a business woman. And she created this amazing notebook and soon she will do it in English. So if you want it, you can text us, okay? Your pastor is ready to Okay, let's go to the last one. Ready? Okay, sit back Sunday. Yes. Sit back Sunday. God bless the seventh day as a day of rest. Our body needs rest to have new strength for the next week. We cannot overlook this. So the last challenge is rest one day a week, change from your usual activities and spend, uh, spend quality time with your family and the ones that you really like because this will bring that spiritual refreshment. Remember and everything, attend to church because it's really, really important. So I hope that helps you all great ladies, this that I teach you today. Lot of love from Colombia and kisses, Pastor Adriana. I love you so much and see you soon.